Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and it is really a happy moment for me when people ask some really good question. And one of that good question was in my inbox that, Hey Tej, how does websites in the production level, something at a really huge scale, manage the outage? On top of that, how these companies actually manage the performance of their API endpoints. How does it is serving? Is it up? Is it down? How much response time it is taking? Now, of course, we can manage a lot of that in the code itself, but this is not how the production grade things actually work. And you might have heard or saying, uh, this is a common saying by a lot of YouTubers, a lot of programmers who actually work in the industry, that hey, the tools are actually slightly different in the production. So it's really a great question that people are now enthusiastic about the engineering side of it, that how things actually goes into production. And I'm here to actually give you an exposure of how things are being managed in the production, how the dying time is being managed, how the site's performance is being managed, is it working well, is the UI is working well, or the UX is working well, or even the API endpoints are working well or not. And again, uh, these tools usually are paid and you need to pay a decent amount for companies, it's like nothing. Uh, but for a general person who is just watching a YouTube video, you also need to know that yes, there is even a totally free version available for you. You can try them out, test them out, and even use them for decent kind of your production application as well. There is enough of the free uh, versions of available. So I would like to introduce you one such production grade tool which will help you and you'll be surprised to know that how good it is and by what company it is. So uh, I'm onto this website which says manageengine.com and I'm pretty sure a lot of you have never heard about of it uh, but now is the time that we actually get to know about these production grade application, which are very common for every single person who is working in the production grade environment. And by the way, this is by this company. I hope you can see that. It's actually uh, super easy uh, to find the logo. In case you don't know about this, this is Zoho and this is a product by Zoho itself. Uh, so Manage Engine. What, what is this Manage Engine? Now Manage Engine is a big suite of products and they offer a lot of things you can see like there is a crazy amount, I probably need another video to actually talk about what is this identity management and enterprise. You can see everything here speaks all about enterprise itself. Enterprise simply means something which is running scalably, serving probably hundreds and thousands or probably millions of users. And this is one of the industry standard product and we have recommended it for a lot of companies. In fact, I have learned it while it was already being served in one of the companies, thus I got to know about it. Now, if you go into their IT operation management, you'll see there is a lot of things, application management, alarms, so that if your website goes down, uh, what is the status of your website? No, companies don't find out about these outage via the Twitter tweets that, hey, your website is down, they actually constantly monitor and there are production engineers who actually constantly monitor them. There are alarms being set, not only just SMS, but notifications. There are separate dedicated apps for it and this is how they manage it. One of the product which we can actually have a small discussion today is Site24 by 7. And again, if you click on this, this is the web page that you'll go. And first, before you actually shout out on me, uh, let me just walk you through with the pricing and plan. You might see there is a starter and there is a 720 rupees per month, but if if you go a smaller bit a little bit, there is a free plan, monitors 50 resources, which is more than enough if you want to try this out. So if you are learning how to build the APIs, how to host the application or anywhere, this is something which you can actually configure, try this out that, hey, I just want to learn how things actually work in production and it's absolutely free. You don't have to pay anything. This will be a good addition in your capabilities and your learning strategies that how can I be ready of the production as soon as possible. Now that you know about it, that hey, there is a free stuff about it. Now let's go ahead and take a look on inside that what all we can monitor, how does this production grade application looks like and all of that. So if you look at the products, we can see that we can monitor our website, cloud, there's plugin integration. I'll walk you through with some of them. These are actually really, really nice. There is even a digital risk analyzer, host status IQ, whether things are actually up and running. You might have seen these kinds of small websites or the bottom navigation bar things like, hey, our website, all resources are up, our database is up and all of that. So how your network is working, is there some resources which is taking too much of the time or your CDN is properly up or not? Maybe your website is up, but the CDN which is serving your website might be down. So how can I find that about? Uh, for these, 
all of these production grade tools are actually being used. You can also manage your servers, like how the workloads are being managed and all of that. And again, free resource just to have the knowledge about it. Now let's go ahead and simply log in. Once you log in, if you have an account on Zoho, it will just use that. So if you just click on the login uh, simple button, it will just say, hey, I'll just log you in. And there we go. So we have this one. And again, this is all free account. And now how much you can monitor. Look at this very closely up here where we have the end user experience monitor. So maybe you want to monitor the domain expiry, REST APIs, maybe you have 50, 20 domains, which is pretty common for the companies. Uh, when these domains are going to expire, who will monitor that? Somebody needs to monitor. You cannot just remember all the things. Uh, so all these things, website monitor, is your website properly being served in the way that you want to be? Uh, we can have the server, public cloud, and this is one of my favorite one. Let me just show you. This is a public cloud thing. And obviously the first question that comes up, hey, why should I be monitoring uh, from here? There is uh, already a service in the AWS which can help me in the monitoration and all of that. Yes, you are absolutely correct. You can do that. But if you integrate all of these things, maybe you are using a multi-cloud platform. Some of your resources are on AWS, some of them uh, you got a deal on Azure, so they are on Azure. So you can actually integrate all of them and can monitor all of them at one place. And by the way, this is just a uh, kind of a gist of overview of how good uh, Zoho and this uh, Site24 by 7, which is also a Zoho product, is actually working out on for you. So let's go back onto the home and you can add monitors. Before we add monitors, let me walk you through with a couple of things which are there. And I highly, highly recommend you to at least go ahead, uh, create a free account and test out the things, how it looks actually in the production. This will be very useful knowledge. Uh, behind the scene engineering of how things are done in production is always one of my favorite subjects. Of course, someday we need to go out of these loops and functions and DSA and all of that. It's good, it's good, but hey, uh, let's just say you are monitoring your servers as well. You can check out that how your servers are doing good. All of these servers are there. And one of a couple of my favorites, uh, there is even a Kubernetes monitoration function. You can monitor all of your Kubernetes if that is your case, clouds. Uh, there is an app log as well. You can check out that how your app is behaving. Uh, I was surprised to see that a lot of people don't even know about these things that, hey, this is all you can man monitor. Maybe you have a queue uh, in which you are processing your videos. Maybe you're uh, running a LMS or a video hosting website. You're using a RabbitMQ. So this RabbitMQ, uh, how these logs are actually working. I want to see the logs here. I want to see the VPC flow logs. All of this can be done at a centralized place. And that's why these products are so much popular in the industry itself. Uh, just click on the admin and you'll see that ah, there's crazy amount of things uh, that you can monitor. And this is why one of the favorite tools for the DevOps engineers and whatnot, and everybody can. Uh, this is overwhelming at first. Let me show you a couple of things. So if I go onto the web, uh, you can see you can add a website monitor and you can view a demo. But if you request me uh, in the comment section, I'll create another video in which I'll actually put up a simple REST API on some servers, maybe DigitalOcean or something. I'll walk you through how you can add a website monitor and something. But in, in case you just want to go through with the overview of it, uh, let me walk you through with that as well. Just click on this view demo button. This is the most important button here. Just click on it, have a look on it, have a feel of it, how it looks like and how things will be. So that when actually something similar or this exact product is being given to you when you go onto a job or in the production site, you don't feel like scared, like, hey, what is this? I've never heard about it. Uh, these things I think should be more discussed. So you can see there is a lot of things which you are monitoring, REST APIs, SOAP API, GRPCs, file upload, REST API transaction, web sockets, uh, how your ports are working, how your domain expiries, SSL, like there's crazy amount of data. Uh, for example, if you want to see that how your REST API transactions are working, you can just go ahead and click on that. There is even a training data, uh, which actually shows you. This is again a sandbox account that how this actually looks, how this actually uh, worked in this. Uh, you can have an incident chat as well that how things are actually going and all of this. Uh, this is just again a demo account that they give you to see and have a look of how things are going. Uh, what are the response times by location? How much is the delay in the response, first response of your APIs? When somebody is using your API from Mumbai, from Hong Kong, from Riyadh, maybe you can do some kind of edge deployment for them so that uh, maybe this Hong Kong time is looking a little bit too much for you. So you might want to do something that, hey, I want to put one copy of my uh, database or one copy of my servers nearby to Hong Kong so that these users can actually uh, get the response a little bit faster. Again, there is no way other than these monitoring that you can optimize your application. 
no matter how much you do uh, with your coding skills and something, we need a proper monitoration through which we can analyze, okay, this is going bad and this is. Remember, there is one big, big saying, uh, whenever you want to uh, increase this potential of anything, there are two steps. And I don't remember exactly in which book I studied it, but there is always this way how you actually do it. First, you monitor it and make a scale that this is how my application is behaving right now. Then you do some changes and then you measure it again. If you don't perform these measuring before and after, there is no guarantee and no uh, no kind of optimization that you are actually doing. You are just thinking it is optimizing, but maybe all those traditional routes of optimizing are not working at all. So it's always a great idea that whenever you want to do something in the application, measure it first then do the optimization and then do the measuring thing again. That's how things are actually done in the production. And this is always how things should be. Again, so we can see this is just one thing. But by the way, in case you want to go with the gRPCs, yes, there is a gRPC application being deployed, which we can test. Uh, and we can see that how the response time is actually working for different connection, SSL handshake, DNS time. Uh, maybe you want to have different times, zones, whatnot. So all these graphs and charts are really, really important. Once your application is done building, it's not about keep on adding the features. Sometimes we don't want to build any new feature. We want to just improve the existing web application. Uh, by the way, you can also check on the web transaction by the browser. So let's just say there is a sample RMB website here, form, iframe. Uh, there's so much going on. Uh, web page speed as well. Uh, maybe you want to check out what is your page speed. And again, you cannot just test it in your only browser. There are thousands of different browsers, thousands of different locations. There is a 3G, there is a slow 3G, there is a 4G, 5G, Wi-Fi, slow Wi-Fi, fast Wi-Fi. There's, there's so much to actually uh, monitor and perform it. So let's just say we want to test the page speed load and notice here how much data is being given to you or potentially you can actually get this. So notice here there is a downtime uh, here. You can just select that. That Okay, why that downtime happened? Why that suspend time happened? And what were the location? What was the detail of this outage? These are critical information. Not every application just uh, finds out about these downtimes just because somebody tweeted on the Twitter and all of that. No, this is not how actually things work. Uh, this is a proper way. So we can see there is availability and all of these details, number of downtimes, test per speed. So this is the one which actually created uh, Hangzhou city. So in China, there was a downtime, Shenzhen if I'm pronouncing them correct anyways. Uh, so you can see this is how things are actually being measured. This is 99% availability and all of that. So let's go ahead and back onto the report. So this is the page load speed, 1.4 second of an average time. Uh, again, since I've measured it now, uh, can I make my images smaller? Now, if I make my images smaller, sometime you'll notice it might take more time. I don't know why, what's the reason, but it might take more time. Measure perform and then do some task and then measure again. That is how it always should be done. So notice here, there is some of the things are being served by the Cloudflare. And this is what I love about it. You can check and measure the speed that how much time Cloudflare took. Maybe you want to remove the favicon. I don't know why you would do that, but maybe, maybe you this is bothering you too much. Now you know the exact reason that this is the favicon which is creating a problem for me. So I would probably want to remove that or maybe I want to serve it from another CDN provider which can actually increase my speed and load time. And there are and corporates, it matters a lot if you can bring this 1.4 second to probably 0.9 second. That is an advantage. And that's why you see in uh, high-end resumes, you see that I was able to bring the speed of the website by 44% or increase the speed by 20%. This is how you measure that. And this is the difference between when you actually work on your own local host or maybe you have just deployed it on DigitalOcean or something versus when you deploy the things in actual production grade settings. Uh, so great graphs, checks and all of these things. And by the way, in case you are not aware of this, uh, these graphs and charts are a matter of discussion. And when you will be properly working in an MNC or a production grade company, you need to properly take these charts and in your analyze summary or quarterly summary, you have to present these charts that, hey, this was the previous. And with what the what our team has done the work, we were able to bring the chart like this. Uh, management and all these executives, they do understand only the charts and numbers. And that's how your sometimes performance is being evaluated. 
Uh, I don't know if it is correct or not uh, of doing this way, but this is how things actually work in the production. So I'm really happy that somebody asked this and because of this, I was able to share all of this. So notice here, there's so much more to talk about it. Uh, definitely one video is not enough. I would love to take it back. Uh, by the way, you can check out all of these alarms as well. By the way, this is also a great uh, way of how the, like notice here, uh, alarms and who to set these alarms for, maybe uh, or sim in simple terms, how can I have an alarm and being assigned to somebody so that he can take a look, uh, whether that's an escalation, uh, needs to call more team member or I can handle it or there was a false alarm. These things needs to be verified. So notice here, website is uh, agent is not communicating with 24 by 7. So there's a PHP application which is not working. Assign technician, you can click on it and assign different operations and teams and manager. And that's what the role of a lot of people is on the production grade application. Uh, great work here and you can check, any of the admin can check that how many things are actually being done, how many of them are pending, how many incidents are there. Uh, yeah, these are really, really great thing. So I think this video has given you a brief idea of how things actually work in the production. And again, this is a product by Zoho. That's why I actually uh, love to show it to you. It's a very reliable, very reputed, respected company in the entire world itself. Uh, proud to say that it is from India. Uh, where I belong to as well. So that's why. Again, if you found this video helpful and have given you some of the gist and glimpse of how things actually work in the real production in the industry, uh, just leave a thumbs up or if you haven't yet subscribed, do hit the subscribe. If you want more such information or more configuration and discussion of this, uh, let me know in the comment section. I would love to do this production grade application and inner engineering behind the scene part of it. Uh, this is something which I enjoy a lot. So uh, this is it for this video. And let's catch up in the next video.